Okay, so in today's math lesson, uh, we're doing things pretty different today, which is kind of cool. I, I really enjoyed this today. Uh, we're doing a lot of drawings, and we're analyzing or exploring parts of parts and whole relationships or, or parts uh, in relationship to the whole. Uh, in our first problem here, we have one road. Okay, the piece that is shown here is only three sevenths of the whole. Now, if if this piece here is three sevenths of the whole, that means there are three parts to this thing here. So I'm going to separate that into three parts. Now, if it's three sevenths, that means there must be four other pieces. And if they're all of equal size, I need to put four more pieces here. Now I'm going to check this when I'm done here because I want to make sure that this is this is indeed the shaded part here. That part they give me is three sevenths of the whole. So here's what I'm going to do. Here's one seventh, two sevenths, three sevenths. Here would be four sevenths, five sevenths, six sevenths, and seven sevenths. That works out pretty well because that's one whole. Okay. And so you start off by making all these fun little drawings this way. The next one is uh, uh, make one road, or we have one road. The piece shown is one sixth of the whole. So here's one of it. Here's one sixth, which leads you to believe that there, there are going to be five other pieces that are the same size. Okay. That kind of thing. So this is what we what we worked on today. The part I really liked is uh, part C over here because this is kind of cool here. What we need to do <clears throat> is to make three different roads. So we have roads A, B, and C. Um, so here's, uh, here's road A, here's going to be road B, and here's going to be road C. And line, we have to be very careful how we read these things here because uh, how we read and how well we read and how we figure this out, it means everything. So let's start. It says here that B is three times longer than A. So I'm just going to make A any random length. And uh, apparently, uh, road B is three times longer than A. So whatever A is, I need uh, three of them for B. So here's one block. I need three of these things, too. I'm going to try to make them the same size here. That's going to help. Now, did I do this right? So the sentence reads, B is three times longer than A. And it looks that way. One, two, three. Right, it's three times longer, so there are three Bs to each A. Okay? C now is twice as long as B. Now, if in order for me to do that, I notice that I have one, two, three boxes. Now, if it's twice as long, C is twice as long, I'm going to need six boxes. So here's three. Here's the third one, right? Now I need three more of these things. I'm going to try to keep them the same size here so this kind of looks like it should. All right, so C is now twice as long as B. It says, draw the roads. Okay, I did. What fraction of the total length of the roads is A? Now, notice that every single brick here, every, every single unit or box, they're all the same size. So if I'm trying to find out in fraction form the length of A, well, I need to find out the total number of boxes. Well, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of them. I have 10 total boxes, which means each of these guys is 1 10, right, because I have 10 total of them. 10 of them, so they're each one-tenth of the whole, okay, which means A, the length of A is one-tenth, okay, in fraction form, okay, 10 pieces, it's one of them. Now, the second part of this says, hey, well, what's the uh, length of road C? If road B is seven miles longer than A. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Let me change colors. Here's where it gets interesting. If Road B is seven miles longer than road A, okay, which means this distance right here from here to here is the difference between roads B and road uh, roads B and A, and it's seven miles. Okay, this distance from here to here, okay, is seven miles. Now watch what happens. That happens to be two units. Keep that in mind because what they want me to do here is to find out the total length of road C. Now check this out. Two units here are seven miles. Here's two units. Same distance, right? Or seven miles. Here's another two units. This is another seven miles. I'm going to do some thinking here a little bit, right? Here's another seven miles. Well, if I have three sets of seven miles, three sets of seven miles, that gives me a total of 21 miles. Pretty cool, right? And that's how it works. So um, there's a whole lot of analyzing here, and there's a whole lot of uh, taking a look at boxes and, and putting things together and using your imagination a little bit. 
Um, but if you draw things the right way and you kind of take, take a step back and you look at things and you compare things and you analyze the pieces compared to the whole, uh, perhaps it'll all work out for you. All right, so uh, take your time. Uh, open your mind up to different possibilities and use, the, uh, use what you know. All right, and trust yourself a little bit. Give it a go, and I'm sure you'll be successful. Okay, thanks, gang. Take care. Bye-bye.